Start a bit, start a bit, run. Reading comics, twists are hella sick. Start a bit. I want your school. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Diamond Select Toys action figure review on the Captain Marvel movies. Marvel Select Star Force Captain Marvel. If you're trying to pick this up, you can do so. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. And I gotta give a big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible and sending out this product to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from DST, check the link below to their YouTube channel. This is looking pretty sweet already I like the packaging you know you get the whole like starry sky going on right over there that's really cool and then you can see Captain Marvel right here and then on the back you get a bunch of product shots looking pretty cool and then nothing on the side on the top or at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's the Star Force Captain Marvel figure along with Goose out of the packaging and not a bad looking Star Force Captain Marvel I mean already I'm liking the paint apps I'm seeing right over here uh, there are some gripes I do have with the figure which I'll get into for sure uh, for instance that Goose looks a little oversized right maybe am I tripping now no it looks a little large but anyway let's get a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at Captain Marvel so first up we have three different display base options for this figure we do not get the display base that we had seen over at New York Toy Fair and we don't get those blast effects that we'd seen at New York Toy Fair either. Uh, so first off we get this right over here which is just okay and it says DST at the bottom and then you get this cool display stand which I do like uh, you just need a screwdriver to loosen and tighten each of these joints and you get rotation and they hinge at each point right there. Uh, this one's a little too tight so I don't want to break it or anything but it's cool that they each rotate and you could bend these around and this ports into the back of the figure very easily and then we get this flying effect piece which is replacing the blast effects did contact Zach O to see what was up with that and he said that that was a decision made at the factory level so we will be seeing those effects pieces with another figure later on uh, but in the meantime we do have this which I like I think this looks really good I really like the sculpt of it I wish it had a little bit more paint on it you know I do like the translucent orange but yeah it's very hollow and it looks pretty good I like the sculpt of it and you do have to put it together it's very easy you just play match the shape and these peg into the bottom of her feet very easily and then we get all of these interchangeable hands five pairs of interchangeable hands actually and then you get two interchangeable head sculpts and we have goose right over here. I gotta say with all these interchangeable hands over here it is just not necessary. I would have preferred just to have a pair of fisted hands and one wide open set and then maybe those restraints that would have been really cool to have. I need to figure with those restraints. I thought that was really cool especially with that glowing effect that would have been nice but as far as the hands go you have like three different types of wide open hands and I do like the paint on them. You know that shiny metallic green looks very cool. Some of the black is coming out on the fingers but yeah you have this way uh, sprawled out hand and this is almost like a more neutral relaxed hand and then this is a relaxed hand with the pinky and ring finger curled in a little bit and then you have a relaxed hand that's more like a grabby hand it's like all three of those and then you get the fisted hands right over here so yeah really don't need all these other interchangeable hands I think like if it just came with this one right here and this one right there we would have been fine and then we have goose right over here and not looking too bad not the cutest of kitties I've ever seen though you know it's not too bad not great either but very bright orange orange color and you could see some of that black paint mixed in there so not awful or anything if I dim things down you could see the color of the little figurine a little better and then you get the two head sculpts uh, the unmasked one is not really looking too great the paint on the eyes just did not come out too good I think she looks kind of sad dull and miserable you know kind of looks like it's supposed to be Brie Larson but doesn't look like Brie Larson to me so that's a little bit of a bummer. Now, the hair looks pretty good though. I do like how the paint apps look and everything and it's nice sculpting so can't really complain about that hair but yeah the face is just like <laughs> but this looks awesome. I really like this. A little bit of green bleeding onto the flesh section but for the most part I think this looks really good. I like the bright silver that we're seeing right here and the metallic green of course looks great. The mohawk looks pretty good so I'm definitely happy with this one right over here. Uh, one other gripe about the hands that I forgot to mention and another gripe about the heads is that you know putting the heads on is it's pretty stiff and tricky to do. Uh, however, though, uh, my gripe with the hands is that they're just too freaking big, man. Look at this. Captain Marvel's got big old man hands. Look at those knuckles. Yeah. Reminds me of the cock knocker from Jay and Silent Bob. By the way, did you see Jay and Silent Bob reboot? Should have a review of that movie coming up very soon. But yeah, the hands just came out looking a little bit too big to me. Now, when you look at the figure from farther away, uh, the big old hands don't look as bad. And I do think it's actually more of just the left hand looking bigger more so than the right. Anyway, we got some decent articulation over here. She 
can look up that much with this head sculpt. Uh, she'll look down that much, get side to side motion, and good head pivoting right there. Now these little flaps on the shoulders do allow you to move the shoulders outward that far. I would be careful with that though because it is splitting drastically compared to this one where I haven't really done that so much with. Uh, you get shoulder rotation all the way around. No bicep swivel, but you do get a single jointed elbow that does not meet the 90 degree mark. You also get an elbow swivel and then all the hands turn side to side and hinge up and down. You get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side, diaphragm pivot, crunches forward just a tad and back a little bit also. Hips move outward very far and she can kick forward that much and not back much. Upper thigh cut right here, double jointed knees, ankles move down and they move up and she has beautiful ankle pivot. And one other thing I wanted to mention about the leg articulation that I appreciate is that you can get the legs moving close. I do like it when the female flying figures can have their legs a little bit closer together. I don't know, I just think it looks a little cooler. Whoosh. Measure out this Captain Marvel figure, you can see that she is standing just a little over the seven inch mark. And then for a size comparison, here's our Star Force Captain Marvel. Next to my favorite Diamond Select Toys female figure, we have Psylocke. And then for a DST Captain Marvel comparison, we have our Marvel Select MCU Star Force Captain Marvel next to the Diamond Select Toys Marvel Gallery Captain Marvel comic statue. This thing still looks spectacular. I mean, just to take another look, I mean, it is a great looking statue. It is quite spectacular. And then for your Star Force Captain Marvel comparison, we have the Diamond Select Toys Marvel Select next to the Marvel Legends version. And then here's our Star Force Captain Marvel figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man. Ah, so you don't have the blast effects I thought you are going to come with. Means you can't really hurt me too much, huh? Uh, at one point though, I don't believe in hurting a lady. But at the same time, I believe in equal opportunity. Here we go. <laughs> badass. So getting past my gripes with this figure, I still like it. There's still things I do dig about it. The articulation is really good and the figure looks really good as well. We're not getting the effects that I was really hoping to get, but I'm looking forward to seeing those later on. And I do think the figure isn't bad, but not great. And at the price point of around 25 to 30 bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a sud rating of meh. And I'd like to know what you guys think, because I'm honestly torn. There's parts about it I really do like, and then there's, you know, the obvious mentions that I already have my gripes with and everything everything that I had talked about earlier. So anyway, I'd like to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you haven't already. And a big thanks to all these people that support this YouTube channel over on Patreon. If you're interested, check out the link in the description below. Also, check out my merch shelf, which is just added to this YouTube channel. That's down below if you want the exclusive Teespring t-shirts. They're in the description down below somewhere. If you want to see the latest Marvel news, be sure to check out MarvelousNews.com and don't forget to follow me over on the Instagram. Twitter and Twitch, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.